In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert molarity into molality. This is a really interesting exercise in just unit factor analysis. So what is the molality of a solution that is 0.464 molar sucrose in water? And we're given the density. So to review, molality is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, and molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. So as long as we have the molarity and the density, uh, we can get there. We need to do a couple things. One, we're going to begin with an assumption that we have one liter of solution. This is going to make our lives way easier. Two, we need to calculate the mass of the solution. Because that solution, the mass of that solution is made from the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent. Third, we're going to calculate the mass of the solute in that solution, which we can do using the molarity and its molar mass. We can use 2 and 3 here to calculate the mass of the solvent. And then we can calculate our molarity, or molality. Molality. Great. Let's get to work. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to assume that one liter of solution. And with the density, we can convert that volume into a mass. So if we have one liter of solution, one liter is a thousand milliliters. And the density tells us that every one of those milliliters weighs 1.36 grams. So if we crunch that out, we get 1,360 grams of solution. But now I want to know how much of that solution is made up of the solute. Well, if we're assuming that we have one liter of solution, we know from the molarity that one liter of that solution is 0 0.464 moles of the sucrose. And if you do a little Googling, you can find out that one mole of sucrose is 342.3 grams of sucrose. If you crunch that down, we've got 159 grams of sucrose in this solution. So now if we want to find the mass of the solvent, all we have to do is subtract the mass of sucrose from the mass of the solution. So the mass of the water, our solvent, equals the mass of that kilogram, or that liter of solution. So that's the solution mass. I'm going to subtract the solute. And we get that we have 1,201 grams of water. We can convert that to kilograms pretty readily. 1,201 grams of H2O. 1,000 grams to 1 kilogram, so we have 1.201 kilograms of H2O. Now that we have this mass of solvent, we can take that and pair it with our original moles. So 0 0.464 moles of sucrose over 1.201 kilograms of H2O means that our solution is 0 0.386 molal in sucrose.